All right, hello again, my friends. We're back from the Great American Night Craft beer review with Kyle. A little foggy on the screen. Not sure what that's about right there, uh, but uh, should be all right for the review. I'm hoping. Uh, I've got one here. I'm gonna wrap this uh, night up. I've had a at the B450 series, and I wanted to wrap this night up with a beer that I am sure is going to be kick-ass. Uh, it's from the Boulevard Brewing Company, the great brand of Slade. Give me a single bottle. And it was brewed on October 5th, 2019. Yeah, a little over a month and a half ago. It's, from, it's called the Plaid Habit. Boulevard Brewing Company, Plaid Habit, Kansas City, Missouri. Now, these, this company is kick-ass. We know that. This is a Canadian whiskey barrel-aged imperial brown ale. A limited release, of course, as always. Now, this is a huge beer. Huge beer. 13.9%. And I mean huge. You're pushing 14%. You know, a lot of times people say big beers at 10 or 11. This is almost 14. So, a little bit of a difference in alcohol. I mean, looking at what, 4 2 is a Bud Light, 8 4, 12, 8 would give you three Bud Lights. This is about three and a quarter, well, about three, over three Bud Lights in this bottle. So, uh, was able to get it with a trade for this, the uh, Esther Secret Warped Wing, and I feel bad because that beer sucked the ass. And I, I don't, I like Warped Wing, but too much chocolate and white for Warped Wing. I love Warped, but. Two years in a row, this beer has been god awful. But anyway, this is gonna be good. It's a smokestack series release, of course. And I tell you what, we're gonna. This is gonna be kick ass. I've not tried it, but reading reviews and also just being drinking Boulevard beers, I have to say that uh, the three of the Boulevard barrel, four of the Boulevard barrel the beers I've done over the past year have all been, in my opinion, four two fives. A couple of them four fives. Uh, just phenomenal beers. I mean, I really think that Ryan Rye was just, to this day, still one of the best beers I've drank. And, you know, even the Whiskey Barrel was a 425. The, the, the Quad was a 45, I think. And that Manhattan Cask, although different and strong, was a 45 or 425 as well. So, anything Boulevard Barrel Age is just going to be kick ass, in my opinion. But, two inches on But, you really got to respect these guys. I just think they do such a great and fine job and a great day. Never had a beer. No, this is warming, warming for about 25 minutes or so here. We're going to go ahead and get it going, get the top up, get it in the glass, and get it going. Again, we have several of these caps, this Boulevard Smoke Series cap there. But uh, this is going to be awesome. 13.9 ounces. This is Canadian whiskey. Canadian whiskey barrel aged Imperial Brown Ale. Now, I don't know. It's going to be definitely a sipping beer. That glass there, rinsed some water in there, but that's fine. Uh,. Now let's go ahead. You know, I love brown ales. I love Canadian whiskey now. That almost pours. Now I was aggressive with that poured late. That's it. it almost pours like a it's a brown ale, but it almost pours like a uh <laughs> it's a brown ale, but almost like a copper amber color. Uh and let's we'll see what we get with this. Let's see what we get. Oh whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. Some malts, brown, rich, roasted malts uh, in the flavor. Uh, but whiskey is what I'm getting predominantly. Uh, Canadian whiskey club. Well, look at that color. I mean, I tell you what, that is a, just an awesome looking beer. I can see on the glass there. And like I said, I want to thank Brandon. We're going to see a lot. Four pack is was not bad. It was 15, which is insane because, you know, you're paying $16, $17 a bomber for Rhine Guys beer that's 9%. Barrel aged Rhine Guys beer, 9%. Main one's $15.99. This was $15, four pack, 14%. And I'm guaranteeing it 10 times better beer from a beer company now. Huh? Yeah, the local boys are ripping us off. I hate saying that in a review, but I just, Boulevard, this is reasonable and it's just giving me kick ass. And maybe I'm wrong. I might try this and say it sucks, but I really. Have a good thing about it. So let's uh, cheers. Thank you. Good thoughts. Thank Brandon. Thank the Brewers of Kansas City Boulevard. And go Blue. Big game. They cheap shot. Now you went down. Cheers, everybody. Oh, my God. Canadian whiskey smooth. Why, God. I. There's no way that's 13.9. I tell you what, for me, I'm going to say two things, and I don't want to say this. I'm going to rate this beer high because of the smoothness. 
and how good it tastes. However, I, I, it's lacking flavor. I get like hints of like brown malt up front and then like Canadian like this club, like almost like you're drinking like a Canadian whiskey on the rocks. But it's not boozy. It's like Canadian whiskey on the rocks, smooth. And then just a kind of bland finish. And I'm not it's going to be a four beer, but I don't, I don't know. Say, but again, I'm getting like, for being a brown ale, I'm getting almost like a, it would almost taste like, like a, a, a Canadian whiskey stout, but thinner. It's weird. It's good. I mean, that flavor, it's 13.9. I don't know if I've ever had a smoother 13.9 beer. Oh my God. All right, here's some brown ale. There's some brown out there with the Canadian whiskey smoothness. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more brown out on that sip. But it's been warming for about 25 minutes. Ah. Uh, you know, it doesn't have the a normal imperial brown out. I've had a couple of imperial browns. In fact, 90% of the browns I've had have not been imperial. You know, the brown owls are 5, 6, maybe 7 max. 4 to 6% on 80% of brown owls I've had. Outside did the nut bandit, and there's been a maybe two or three other imperial browns that were drank. So I don't know. I think this is definitely Canadian whiskey on the rocks, like smooth, flavored. Uh, I have to say four two five at thirteen nine, and for the price, uh, this is a tremendous beer. Another great Boulevard beer. Uh, I don't get much in the brown ale flavor though. So anybody's had this, drop me a line. I'm gonna say four two five. I think. 13.9, my God, uh, it's a good beer. So, uh, we'll cheers everybody and we'll sip this. And again, thank you, Brandon Slate. So, 425, I don't think this is Boulevard's best beer. I still think very, very good. Try this for a single bottle. If you can get a single bottle of this, jump on it. I mean, it'd probably be three or four bucks to jump on it. 13.9, I mean, it's worth the buzz on 14% alcohol. I think a single was going for 350. I traded, so I don't know what the single actually was, but I don't know if four pack was 15, so. Maybe three, maybe 50 cents more. Four back, well, also at three, four bucks max, but it's worth a 14% beer. So, cheers, everybody. We'll see you soon. Uh, cheers to Boulevard. Great beer. See you.